Hey guys. So uh, about a year ago, I made this uh, basic shop functionality where you can go up to an NPC shop and buy some items and also sell items from the inventory. So I really haven't changed it since uh, I worked on it a year ago. I've been working on some other projects since then for the game. But uh, a few people have commented they wanted to see a tutorial on how I uh, wrote the systems and how the inventory works with the shop. So let's get right into it. Let me just go, I'll show you how it works first in the actual game. So I press I here and I have my inventory of like copper bar and then like an emerald and go over to the shop here and there's press E for open the shop and once you open the shop, you can see little cell icons here, and there's um, three different packets of seeds you could buy. You got the carrot, corn, and tomatoes. Uh, random bandit walking around over there. So first off, to sell, I made it so you could just click, and there's uh, some currency over here. You could see I have 10, 10 gold or 10 coins. Now, there's so many more things I want to add, you know, showing the actual sell price and all this kind of stuff, but this is very basic and um, a lot of room to improve upon it. But pretty much it has the functionality of you buy an item, it goes right into your inventory if you have enough, um, and it stacks up into, I think I set it for like 20. But once you don't have any more, it comes up, need more, uh, need more coins to purchase seed pouch, because I have zero coins, I get sell these back. And I made the sell price less than the uh, the buy price, as most games have it. And that's basically the functionality of it. So, tutorial part. Let me show you guys how everything works, how the shop works with the inventory, and vice versa. All right, let me get out of this. All right, to start off, I'm going to show you the inventory side. So, each of these slots here is. Uh, a prefab inventory slot and it has an inventory slot script script <laughs> uh, on it which holds item the icon of the item um, and like the stack so like how many are in each uh, each slot remove button I don't have because I disabled it for now current quantity would be one and that would change you know as you sell items and this here, this cell parent, this is what has the cell icon. So once the shop is actually open and your inventory is open, this gets activated, the cell background. And it's actually a button. And you could add an event. So if you click add to list, there's you could add uh, you add a script into here so I added my inventory slot script into here and you could choose which which methods you you can call for that script so for the inventory slot script there's a method called sell item and that's what's linked up to this so when anyone clicks the button it will call sell item. So inventory slot script sell item. So let me go into the scripts here. So this would be here, inventory slot script and sell item. So if current quantity is greater than zero, which it should be if there's an item in it, uh, or at least one item, it will, first it will do uh, currency banner dot currency manager that instance that add coin so this is where the currency comes in um, this script is in charge of adding or removing coins as I showed here in this uh, the inventory is let me let me actually let 
So this is the, the coins parent, which holds the text of how much many coins you have. And basically in the game manager, I have a currency manager script, what we just looked at, to hold how many coins the player has at any given time which is this here, Currency Manager. So it has Add Coin, Remove Coin, and then Update UI, Shake Coin UI, so it changes the uh, the size of the button, or of the, not necessarily a button, but the, you know, the background user interface that you see here, this orange image. And It also, so it does it quickly in 0.10 seconds, so it looks like, you know, something's being added to the the coin bank over there. Um, but that's, that's a part of it, but it's not the most important part. So going back to the inventory slot script, which holds all the relevant information, and each inventory slot, let me reactivate this here. Each slot has, you know, a spot for the item picture and also the sell button, which is linked up with an event to when you click it, it sells the item back in that inventory slot script. So sell item, currency manager, instant add coin, so it adds a coin and then it removes the item, which is here, which is just the current quantity of that slot minus one, and then it updates the UI so the text shows the new number. Um, so if you sell it, you know, three, two, one, and then the item will vanish from the uh, slot. So that's the inventory side. Now the other part, and I think this is the main, the main area, you have the sh shop slot. So it, it's very similar. And I have a shop, shop slot script, which holds the item. So in this case, this one was the corn. Um, the price text of how much it is, I think it was like, yeah, 10. So the, and then the buy price. So if you go into the slot, shop slot script, um, there's methods called purchase item. So when you click on the actual item, item button, The actual icon. This is shop, shop slot script that purchase item, and that's what calls when you click on it. It purchases the item. So if you have enough coins, enough coins would be the um, the n number of coins you have minus the buy price. If you have if it's greater than zero, greater than or equal to, return true. So it means you have enough coins. Um, and if it doesn't, it will say. Uh, you need more coins. But within this too, I have a method that shows, it adds the item to the inventory. So I, this is the inventory uh, script that I have. So it'll allow you to add items and remove items from uh, the actual slot script, inventory slot script. And it says if you can add it, so if there's enough space to actually add the item, which here, it goes into a little bit more detail. I, I won't really go into the stacks, but pretty much um, it checks the inventory slots and sees if there are either an empty slot or if it is a similar item to something you already have, it adds to the specific stack. Um, so if so, so if you have enough coins and you could add the item, then it adds it. If it, uh, if it adds it successfully, I believe that's a bool. Yeah, so the, it calls add item. And if this is ex successful, it does all the, it adds it, it updates the UI, and then it returns true. Now, if this is true, then it says item purchased, and then the, the coins are removed based on the buy price that you saw of that specific shop slot. Uh, buy price here. So that's where, is it, there, that's where it's pulling from. And that's, I think that's pretty much basically it. So that's the buying side and, and I went over the selling side. So it's basically just two buttons. 
one button is here when you click on the shop slot icon to purchase and then it gets added to the inventory and once you have the shop open and the inventory open the sell button comes becomes active you can click it and sell you know whatever item you have and then once you remove enough items it, it goes away so remove item and then inventory UI I won't get into that you know I might as well inventory UI just in case you guys wanted to uh, do an inventory and shop system as well but how I have it is it checks if there's an available item if there's quantity greater than zero then it updates all the information text stack quantity all that um, information that you need to know you know what's in your inventory um, however if there's no quantity there it's less than or equal to zero then everything becomes null text is nothing uh, or blank and uh, the sell button parent becomes inactive so then it just goes away now I'm sure there's a better way to to handle all this but um, I really haven't updated it in a year I've been working on other systems uh, for those of you who have followed the the journey that I've had uh, let me go to the uh, the channel here Your channel. So, I mean, I've been doing a bunch of things with different skills and attributes, grass, tree chopping, and if we scroll all the way down to, I think, number 21, this is my first NPC shop a year ago, and it's still the same. Uh, the interface is a little bit different because I updated the UI for the, the equipment, but um, I think the basic basic functionality is good. I just need to update the UI and, and maybe have a little bit more information. Yep, now I messed up stuff because I uh, what I do. Yeah, I messed it up. So I'm not going to save whatever I just did there. But um, hopefully, based on what I went over, it's clear to you guys how everything works. So you have slot shop slot script where you buy the items from and you hook it up as a button so when you click the button it purchases the item and that works with the, the currency manager and also the inventory because it has to take currency out add inventory in and then the um, inventory slot script is the way with the sell button to actually sell the item remove it from the inventory and then add a coin or add number of uh, coins based on the item value and this is the item that you would uh, Add, which has is it stackable? What's the max stack? A description of value, um, other information that's more like for equipment, but the main things are, are the value and um, and the sprite icon as well. So um, that's basically it. If you guys have any questions, definitely let me know. And uh, good luck if you're trying to put this into your own shop or into your own game. It's just that my inventory system might be different than yours, but the slot, shop slot script uh, method works well for my game. So let me know if you have any questions or comments below, and uh, thank you for watching.